Thuringia German, Thuringen, officially the Free State of Thuringia English, German, Freestadt Thuringen, pronounced Fata-T-Ti-N, is a state of Germany. Thuringia is located in central Germany covering an area of 16,171 square kilometres 6, square miles and a population of 2.29 million inhabitants, making it the sixth smallest German state by area and the fifth smallest by population. Erfurt is the state capital and largest city, while other major cities include Jena, Jera, and Weimar. Thuringia is surrounded by the states of Bavaria, Hesse, Lower Saxony, Saxony-Anhalt, and Saxony. Most of Thuringia is within the watershed of the Saal, a left tributary of the Elbe, and has been known as the Green Heart of Germany das Grün Deutschlands from the late 19th century due to the dense forest covering the land. Thuringia is home to the Rennsteig, Germany's most well-known hiking trail, and the winter resort of Oberhof, making it a well-known winter sports destination with half of Germany's 136 Winter Olympic gold medals won through 2014 having been won by Thuringian athletes. Thuringia is also home to prominent German intellectuals and creatives, including Johann Sebastian Bach, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, and Friedrich Schiller, and is location of the University of Jena, the Ilmenau University of Technology, the University of Erfurt, and the Bauhaus University of Weimar. Thuringia was established in 1920 as a state of the Weimar Republic from a merger of the Ernestine duchies, except for Saxe-Coburg, but can trace its origins to the Frankish Duchy of Thuringia established around 631 AD by King Dagobert I. After World War II, Thuringia came under the Soviet occupation zone in Allied-occupied Germany, and its borders altered to become contiguous. Thuringia became part of the German Democratic Republic in 1947, but was dissolved in 1952 during administrative reforms, and its territory divided into the districts of Erfurt, Suhl and Jera. Thuringia was re-established in 1990 following German reunification, with slightly different borders, and became one of the Federal Republic of Germany's new states. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> and symbols. The name Thuringia or Thuringen derives from the Germanic tribe Thuringi, who emerged during the migration period. Their origin is largely unknown. An older theory claims that they were successors of the Hermondori, but later research rejected the idea. Other historians argue that the Thuringians were allies of the Huns, came to Central Europe together with them, and lived before in what is Galicia today. Publius Flavius Vegetius Renatus first mentioned the Thuringi around 400. During that period, the Thuringi were famous for their excellent horses. The Thuringian realm existed until after 531. The Landgraviate of Thuringia was the largest state in the region, persisting between 1131 and 1247. Afterwards the state known as Thuringia ceased to exist, nevertheless the term commonly described the region between the Harz Mountains in the north, the Way Elster River in the east, the Franconian Forest in the south and the Wera River in the west. After the Treaty of Leipzig, Thuringia had its own dynasty again, the Ernestine Wettens. Their various lands formed the Free State of Thuringia, founded in 1920, together with some other small principalities. The Prussian territories around Erfurt, Mühlhausen and Nordhausen joined Thuringia in 1945. The coat of arms of Thuringia shows the lion of the Ludowingian landgraves of 12th century origin. The eight stars around it represent the eight former states which formed Thuringia. The flag of Thuringia is a white-red bicolor, derived from the white and red stripes of the Ludowingian lion. The coat of arms and flag of Hesse are quite similar to the Thuringian ones, because they are also derived from the Ludowingian symbols. Symbols of Thuringia in popular culture are the bratwurst and the forest, because a large amount of the territory is forested. History Named after the Thuringi tribe who occupied it around AD 300, Thuringia came under Frankish domination in the 6th century. Thuringia became a landgraviate in 1130 AD. After the extinction of the reigning Ludowingian line of counts and landgraves in 1247 and the War of the Thuringian Succession 1247 the western half became independent under the name of Hesse, never to become a part of Thuringia again. Most of the remaining Thuringia came under the rule of the Wettin dynasty of the nearby Margraviate of Meissen, the nucleus of the later electorate and Kingdom of Saxony. 
With the division of the House of Wetton in 1485, Thuringia went to the senior Ernestine branch of the family, which subsequently subdivided the area into a number of smaller states, according to the Saxon tradition of dividing inheritance amongst male heirs. These were the Saxon duchies, consisting, among others, of the states of Saxe Weimar, Saxe Eisenach, Saxe Jena, Saxe Meiningen, Saxe Altenburg, Saxe Coburg, and Saxe Gotha. Thuringia became merely a geographical concept. Thuringia generally accepted the Protestant Reformation, and Roman Catholicism was suppressed as early as 1520. Priests who remained loyal to it were driven away, and churches and monasteries were largely destroyed, especially during the German Peasants' War of 1525. In Mühlhausen and elsewhere, the Anabaptists found many adherents. Thomas Munzer, a leader of some non peaceful groups of this sect, was active in this city. Within the borders of modern Thuringia the Roman Catholic faith only survived in the Eichsfeld district, which was ruled by the Archbishop of Mainz, and to a small degree in Erfurt and its immediate vicinity. The modern German black-red-gold tricolor flag's first appearance anywhere in a German ethnicity sovereign state, within what today comprises Germany, occurred in 1778 as the state flag of the Principality of Rus Grise, a principality whose lands were located within modern Thuringian borders. Some reordering of the Thuringian states occurred during the German mediatization from 1795 to 1814, and the territory was included within the Napoleonic Confederation of the Rhine organized in 1806. The 1815 Congress of Vienna confirmed these changes and the Thuringian states' inclusion in the German Confederation. The Kingdom of Prussia also acquired some Thuringian territory and administered it within the province of Saxony. The Thuringian duchies which became part of the German Empire in 1871 during the Prussian-led unification of Germany were saxe weimar eisenach saxe meiningen saxe altenburg saxe coburg gotha Schwarzburg-Sondershausen, Schwarzburg-Rudolstadt and the two principalities of rus elder line and rus younger line In 1920, after World War I, these small states merged into one state, called Thuringia, only saxe coburg voted to join Bavaria instead. Weimar became the new capital of Thuringia. The coat of arms of this new state was simpler than those of its predecessors. In 1930 Thuringia was one of the free states where the Nazis gained real political power. Wilhelm Frick was appointed Minister of the Interior for the state of Thuringia after the Nazi party won six delegates to the Thuringia Diet. In this position he removed from the Thuringia police force anyone he suspected of being a Republican and replaced them with men who were favorable towards the Nazi party. He also ensured that whenever an important position came up within Thuringia, he used his power to ensure that a Nazi was given that post. After being controlled briefly by the U.S., from July 1945, the state of Thuringia came under the Soviet occupation zone, and was expanded to include parts of Prussian Saxony, such as the areas around Erfurt, Mühlhausen, and Nordhausen. Erfurt became the new capital of Thuringia. Ostheim, an exclave of Landkreis roughly equivalent to a county in the English-speaking world Eisenach, was ceded to Bavaria. In 1952, the German Democratic Republic dissolved its states, and created districts Berserk instead. The three districts that shared the former territory of Thuringia were Erfurt, Jera and Suhl. Altenburg Kreis was part of Leipzig Berserk. The state of Thuringia was recreated with slightly altered borders during German reunification in 1990. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Topography From the northwest going clockwise, Thuringia borders on the German states of Lower Saxony, Saxony-Anhalt, Saxony, Bavaria and Hesse. The landscapes of Thuringia are quite diverse. The far north is occupied by the Harz Mountains, followed by the Goldene Aue, a fertile floodplain around Nordhausen with the Helm as most important river. The northwest includes the Eichsfeld, a hilly and sometimes forested region, where the Lean River emanates. The central and northern part of Thuringia is defined by the 3,000 square kilometers wide Thuringian Basin, a very fertile and flat area around the Unstrut River and completely surrounded by the following hill chains clockwise from the northwest, Dunn, Hainleit, Windelate, Kiffhauser, Hohe Schreck, Schmuck, Finna, Ettersburg, Steigerwald, Thuringian Forest, Horselberg and Hainich. Within the basin the smaller hill chains Fauner Hohe and Heilinger Hohen. 
South of the Thuringian Basin is the land's largest mountain range, marked by the Thuringian Forest in the northwest, the Thuringian Highland in the middle and the Franconian Forest in the southeast. Most of this range is forested and the Grower Beerberg 983 meters is Thuringia's highest mountain. To the southwest, the forest is followed up by Wera River Valley, dividing it from the Ron Mountains in the west and the Grabfeld Plain in the south. Eastern Thuringia, commonly described as the area east of Saul and Lakeitz Valley, is marked by a hilly landscape, rising slowly from the flat north to the mountainous south. The Saul in the west and the Way Elster in the east are the two big rivers running from south to north and forming densely settled valleys in this area. Between them lies the flat and forested Holzland in the north, the flat and fertile Orlesenk in the middle and the Vatland, a hilly but in most parts non-forested region in the south. The far eastern region east of Way Elster is the Osterland or Altenberger land along Plea River, a flat, fertile and densely settled agricultural area. The most important river in Thuringia is the Saal a tributary of the Elbe with its tributaries Unstrut, Ilm and Way Elster, draining the most parts of Thuringia and the Wera the headwater of the Weser, draining the southwest and west of the land. Furthermore, some small parts on the southern border are drained by tributaries of the Main a tributary of the Rhine. There are no large natural lakes in Thuringia, but it does have some of Germany's biggest dams including the Blylich Dam and the Hohenwarte Dam at Saal River same as the Liebes Lich Dam and the Goldisthal Pumped Storage Station within the Highland. Thuringia is Germany's only state without connection to navigable waterways. The geographic center of the Federal Republic is located in Thuringia, within the municipality of Vote next to Mühlhausen. Thuringia's centre is located only 8 km south of the capital's cathedral within the municipality of Rockhausen. Climate Thuringia's climate is temperate with humid westerly winds predominating. Increasingly as one moves from the northwest to the southeast, the climate shows continental features, winters can be cold for long periods, and summers can become warm. Dry periods are often recorded, especially within the Thuringian Basin, situated leeward to mountains in all directions. It is Germany's driest area, with annual precipitation of only 400 to 500 mm. Ardern, in the northeast, is warm and dry, with a mean annual temperature of 8.5 degrees Celsius and mean precipitation of 450 mm. Contrast this with wet, cool Oberhof, in the Thuringian Forest, where temperature averages only 4.4 degrees Celsius and mean annual precipitation reaches 1,300 mm. Nature and environment Due to many centuries of intensive settlement, most of the area is shaped by human influence. The original natural vegetation of Thuringia is forest with beech as its predominant species, as can still be found in the Hainich Mountains today. In the uplands, a mixture of beech and spruce would be natural. However, most of the plains have been cleared and are in intensive agricultural use while most of the forests are planted with spruce and pine. Since 1990, Thuringia's forests have been managed aiming for a more natural and tough vegetation more resilient to climate change as well as diseases and vermin. In comparison to the forest, agriculture is still quite conventional and dominated by large structures and monocultures. Problems here are caused especially by increasingly prolonged dry periods during the summer months. Environmental damage in Thuringia has been reduced to a large extent after 1990. The condition of forests, rivers and air was improved by modernizing factories, houses decline of coal heating and cars, and contaminated areas such as the former uranium surface mines around Ronberg have been remediated. Today's environmental problems are the salination of the Wera River, caused by discharges of K-plus S salt mines around Unterbraesbach and overfertilization in agriculture, damaging the soil and small rivers. Environment and nature protection has been of growing importance and attention since 1990. Large areas, especially within the forested mountains, are protected as natural reserves, including Thuringia's first national park within the Hainich Mountains, founded in 1997, the Ron Biosphere Reserve, the Thuringian Forest Nature Park and the South Harz Nature Park. Demographics. Demographic history 
During the Middle Ages, Thuringia was situated at the border between Germanic and Slavic territories, marked by the Saal River. The Ostsiedlung movement led to the assimilation of Slavic people between the 11th and the 13th century under German rule. The population growth increased during the 18th century and stayed high until World War I, before it slowed within the 20th century and changed to a decline since 1990. Since the beginning of urbanization around 1840, the Thuringian cities have higher growth rates resp, smaller rates of decline than rural areas many villages lost half of their population since 1950, whereas the biggest cities Erfurt and Jena keep growing. Largest migrant communities by 31.12. 2017 Topic. Current population The current population is 2,170,000 in 2012 with an annual rate of decrease of about 0.5%, which varies wide between the local regions. In 2012, 905,000 Thuringians lived in a municipality with more than 20,000 inhabitants. This is an urbanization rate of 42% which continues to rise. In July 2013, there were 41,000 non-Germans by citizenship living in Thuringia 1.9% of the population minus among the smallest proportions of any state in Germany. Nevertheless, the number rose from 33,000 in July 2011, an increase of 24% in only two years. About 4% of the population are migrants including persons that already received the German citizenship. The biggest groups of foreigners by citizenship are as of 2012, Russians 3100, Poles 3000, Turks 2100 and Ukrainians 2000. The amount of foreigners varies between regions. The college towns Erfurt, Jena, Weimar and Ilmenau have the highest rates, whereas there are almost no migrants living in the most rural smaller municipalities. The Thuringian population has a significant sex ratio gap caused by the emigration of young women, especially in rural areas. Overall, there are 115 to 120 men per 100 women in the 25 to 40 age group, family founders, which has negative consequences for the birth ratio. Furthermore, the population is getting older and older with some rural municipalities recording more than 30% of over 65's pensioners. This is a problem for the regional labor market, as there are twice as many people leaving as entering the job market annually. Natural and spatial tendencies The birth rate was about 1.8 children per woman in the 1970s and 1980s, shrinking to 0.8 in 1994 during the economic crisis after the reunification and rose again to more than 1.4 children in 2010, which is a higher level than in West Germany. Nevertheless, there are only 17,000 births compared to 27,000 deaths per year, so that the annual natural change of the Thuringian population is about minus 0.45%. In 2015 there were 17.934 births, the highest number since 1990. Migration plays an important role in Thuringia. The internal migration shows a strong tendency from rural areas towards the big cities. From 2008 to 2012, there was a net migration from Thuringia to Erfurt of plus 6,700 persons 33 per 1,000 inhabitants, plus 1,800 to Jera 19 per 1,000, plus 1,400 to Jena 14 per 1,000, plus 1,400 to Eisenach 33 per 1,000 and plus 1,300 to Weimar 21 per 1,000. Between Thuringia and the other German states, the balance is negative. In 2012, Thuringia lost 6,500 persons to other federal states, the most to Bavaria, Saxony, Hesse, and Berlin. Only with Saxony Anhalt and Brandenburg the balance is positive. The international migration is fluctuating heavily. In 2009, the balance was plus 700, in 2010 plus 1,800, in 2011 plus 2,700 and in 2012 plus 4,800. The most important countries of origin of the Thuringia migrants from 2008 to 2012 were Poland plus 1,700, Romania plus 1,200, Afghanistan plus 1,100 and Serbia, Montenegro, Kosovo plus 1,000, whereas the balance was negative with Switzerland minus 2,800 and Austria minus 900. Topic. 
Vital statistics Births from January to November 2016 equals 17,008 Births from January to November 2017 16,641 deaths from January to November 2016 25,644 Deaths from January to November 2017 26,854 natural growth from January to November 2016 8,636 Natural growth from January to November 2017 equals minus ten thousand two hundred thirteen equals topic population projection equals the governmental population projection predicts a further shrinkage of the Thuringian population down to two point one two millions in twenty fifteen and two point zero four millions in twenty twenty. The regional effects will be very different. The biggest cities keep growing, whereas many villages will downright die out. Equals. Topic: Cities, towns, and villages. Equals. Of the approximately 850 municipalities of Thuringia, 126 are classed as towns within a district or cities, forming their own urban district. Most of the towns are small with a population of less than 10,000, only the ten biggest ones have a population greater than 30,000. The first towns emerged during the 12th century, whereas the latest ones received town status only in the 20th century. Today, all municipalities within districts are equal in law, whether they are towns or villages. Independent cities i.e. urban districts have greater powers the same as any district than towns within a district. Asterisk average annual change in percent within the last three years the 31st of December 2009 until the 31st of December 2012, adjusted from incorporations and the 2011 census results. Religion Since the Protestant Reformation, the most prominent Christian denomination in Thuringia has been Lutheranism. During the GDR period, church membership was discouraged and has continued shrinking since the reunification in 1990. Today over two-thirds of the population is non-religious. The Protestant Evangelical Church in Germany has had the largest number of members in the state, adhered to by 22.2% of the population in 2015. Members of the Catholic Church formed 7.8% of the population, while 70.1% of Thuringians were non-religious or adhered to other faiths. The highest Protestant concentrations are in the small villages of southern and western Thuringia, whereas the bigger cities are even more non-religious up to 88% in Jera. Catholic regions are Eichsfeld in the northwest and parts of the Ron Mountains around Gesa in the southwest. Protestant church membership is shrinking rapidly, whereas the Catholic Church is somewhat more stable because of Catholic migration from Poland, southern Europe and west Germany. Other religions play no significant role in Thuringia. There are only a few thousand Muslims largely migrants and about 750 Jews mostly migrants from Russia living in Thuringia. Furthermore, there are some Orthodox communities of Eastern European migrants and some traditional Protestant free churches in Thuringia without any societal influence. The Protestant parishes of Thuringia belong to the Evangelical Church in Central Germany or to the Evangelical Church of Hesse Electorate Waldeck Schmalkalden region. Catholic dioceses are Erfurt most of Thuringia, Dresden Meissen eastern parts and Fulda run around Gesa in the very west. Topic: Politics. Topic: List of ministers president of Thuringia. Topic: September 2014 state election. 
Following the election, the left, Social Democrats and Greens agreed to form a coalition government led by Bodo Ramelow of the left. The next ordinary state election is scheduled for 2019. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Local government. Thuringia is divided into 17 districts, Landkreis. Furthermore, there are 6 urban districts indicated on the map by letters. Erfurt EF Eisenach EA Jera G Jena J Sewell SHL Weimar WE Topic Economy Thuringia's economy is marked by the economic transition that happened after the German reunification and led to the closure of most of the factories within the land. The unemployment rate reached a peak around 2005. Since that year, the economy has seen an upturn and the general economic situation has improved. <laughs> Agriculture and forestry Agriculture and forestry have declined in importance over the decades. Nevertheless, they are more important than in the most other areas of Germany, especially within rural regions. 54% of Thuringia's territory is in agricultural use. The fertile basins such as the large Thuringian Basin or the smaller Golden Aue, Orlesenk and Osterland are in intensive use for growing cereals, vegetables, fruits and energy crops. Important products are apples, strawberries, cherries and plums in the fruit sector, cabbage, potatoes, cauliflower, tomatoes grown in greenhouses, onions, cucumbers and asparagus in the vegetable sector, as well as maize, rapeseed, wheat, barley and sugar beets in the crop sector. Meat production and processing is also an important activity, with swine, cattle, chickens and turkeys in focus. Furthermore, there are many milk and cheese producers, as well as laying hens. Trout and carp are traditionally bred in aquaculture in many villages. Most agricultural enterprises are large cooperatives, founded as Landwirtschaftliche Produktionsgenossenschaft during the GDR period, and meat producers are part of multinational companies. Traditional private peasant agriculture is an exception, as is organic farming. Thuringia's only wine-growing district is situated around Bad Solza north of Weimar and Jena along the ILM and Saal Valley. Its production is marketed as Saul Unstrut wines. Forestry plays an important role in Thuringia because 32% of the Thuringian territory is forested. The most common trees are spruce, pine and beech. There are many wood and pulp paper factories near the forested areas. <laughs> Industry and mining Like most other regions of central and southern Germany, Thuringia has a significant industrial sector reaching back to the mid-19th century industrialization. The economic transition after the German reunification in 1990 led to the closure of most large-scale factories and companies, leaving small and medium-sized ones to dominate the manufacturing sector. Well-known industrial centers are Jena, a world center for optical instruments with companies like Carl Zeiss, Schott and Genoptik, and Eisenach, where BMW started its car production in the 1920s and an Opel factory is based today. The most important industrial branches today are engineering and metalworking, vehicle production and food industries. Especially the small and mid-sized towns in central and southwestern Thuringia, e.g. Arnstadt, Schmalkalden and Ordruf are highly industrialized, whereas there are fewer industrial companies in the northern and eastern parts of the land. Traditional industries like production of glass, porcelain and toys collapsed during the economic crises between 1930 and 1990. Mining was important in Thuringia since the later Middle Ages, especially within the mining towns of the Thuringian forest such as Schmalkalden, Sewell and Ilmenau. Following the Industrial Revolution, the old iron, copper and silver mines declined because the competition from imported metal was too strong. On the other hand, the late 19th century brought new types of mines to Thuringia. The lignite surface mining around Muselwitz near Altenburg in the east of the land started in the 1870s, and two potash mining districts were established around 1900. These are the Sudars Revere in the north of the state, between Biskofferode in the west and Rolleben in the east with Sondershausen at its center, and the Wurr Revere on the Hessian border around Vatcha and Bad Salzingen in the west. 
Together, they accounted for a significant part of the world's potash production in the mid-20th century. After the reunification, the Sudars Revere was abandoned, whereas K plus S took over the mines in the Wurra Revere. Between 1950 and 1990, uranium mining was also important to cover the Soviet Union's need for this metal. The center was Ronberg near Jera in eastern Thuringia and the operating company Wismet was under direct Soviet control. <laughs> <laughs> General economic parameters The GDP of Thuringia is below the national average, in line with the other former East German lands. Until 2004, Thuringia was one of the weakest regions within the European Union. The accession of several new countries, the crisis in southern Europe and the sustained economic growth in Germany since 2005 has brought the Thuringian GDP close to the EU average since then. The high economic subsidies granted by the federal government and the EU after 1990 are being reduced gradually and will end around 2020. The unemployment rate reached its peak of 20% in 2005. Since then, it has decreased to 7% in 2013, which is only slightly above the national average. The decrease is caused on the one hand by the emergence of new jobs and on the other by a marked decrease in the working age population, caused by emigration and low birth rates for decades. The wages in Thuringia are low compared to rich bordering lands like Hesse and Bavaria. Therefore, many Thuringians are working in other German lands and even in Austria and Switzerland as weekly commuters. Nevertheless, the demographic transition in Thuringia leads to a lack of workers in some sectors. External immigration into Thuringia has been encouraged by the government since about 2010 to counter this problem. The economic progress is quite different between the regions of Thuringia. The big cities along the A4 motorway such as Erfurt, Jena and Eisenach and their surroundings are booming, whereas nearly all the rural regions, especially in the north and east, have little economic impetus and employment, which is a big issue in regional planning. Young people in these areas often have to commute long distances, and many emigrate soon after finishing school. The unemployment rate stood at 5.8% in October 2018 and was higher than the German average but lower than the average of eastern Germany. Topic: Infrastructure. Topic: Transport. As Germany's most central land, Thuringia is an important hub of transit traffic. The transportation infrastructure was in very poor condition after the GDR period. Since 1990, many billions of euros have been invested to improve the condition of roads and railways within Thuringia. During the 1930s, the first two motorways were built across the land. The A4 motorway is an important east-west connection in central Germany and the main link between Berlin and southwest Germany, and the A9 motorway is the main north-south route in eastern Germany, connecting Berlin with Munich. The A4 runs from Frankfurt in Hesse via Eisenach, Gotha, Erfurt, Weimar, Jena and Jera to Dresden in Saxony, connecting Thuringia's most important cities. At Hermsdorf Junction it is connected with the A9. Both highways were widened from four to six lanes three each way after 1990, including some extensive rerouting in the Eisenach and Jena areas. Furthermore, three new motorways were built during the 1990s and 2000s. The A71 crosses the land in southwest northeast direction, connecting Würzburg in Bavaria via Meiningen, Suhl, Ilmenau, Arnstadt, Erfurt, and Sommerda with Sangerhausen and Halle in Saxony Anhalt. The crossing of the Thuringian Forest by the A71 has been one of Germany's most expensive motorway segments with various tunnels, including Germany's longest road tunnel, the Rennsteig Tunnel, and large bridges. The A73 starts at the A71 south of Erfurt in Suhl and runs south towards Nuremberg in Bavaria. The A38 is another west-east connection in the north of Thuringia running from Göttingen in Lower Saxony via Heiligenstadt and Nordhausen to Leipzig in Saxony. Furthermore, there is a dense network of federal highways complementing the motorway network. The upgrading of federal highways is prioritized in the Federal Trunk Road Program 2015 Bundesverkehrswegplan 2015. 
Envisaged projects include upgrades of the B247 from Gotha to Leinfeld to improve Mühlhausen's connection to the national road network, the B19 from Eisenach to Meiningen to improve access to Bad Salzingen and Schmalkalden, and the B88 and B281 for strengthening the Saalfeld – Rudolstadt region. The first railways in Thuringia had been built in the 1840s and the network of main lines was finished around 1880. By 1920, many branch lines had been built, giving Thuringia one of the densest rail networks in the world before World War II with about 2,500 km of track. Between 1950 and 2000 most of the branch lines were abandoned, reducing Thuringia's network by half compared to 1940. On the other hand, most of the main lines were refurbished after 1990, resulting in improved speed of travel. The most important railway lines at present are the Thuringian Railway, connecting Halle and Leipzig via Weimar, Erfurt, Gotha and Eisenach with Frankfurt and Kassel and the Saal Railway from Halle, Leipzig via Jena and Saalfeld to Nuremberg. The former has an hourly ICE, IC service from Dresden to Frankfurt while the latter is served hourly by ICE trains from Berlin to Munich. In 2017, a new high-speed line will be opened, diverting long-distance services from these mid-19th century lines. Both ICE routes will then use the Erfurt Leipzig Halle High Speed Railway, and the Berlin Munich route will continue via the Nuremberg Erfurt High Speed Railway. Only the segment west of Erfurt of the Frankfurt Dresden line will continue to be used by ICE trains after 2017, with an increased line speed of 200 km per hour, currently 160 km per hour. Erfurt's central station, which was completely rebuilt for this purpose in the 2000s decade, will be the new connection between both ICE lines. The most important regional railway lines in Thuringia are the Neudietendorf Richenhausen Railway from Erfurt to Würzburg and Meiningen, the Weimar Jera Railway from Erfurt to Chemnitz, the Sangerhausen Erfurt Railway from Erfurt to Magdeburg, the Gotha Leinfeld Railway from Erfurt to Göttingen, the Halle Castle Railway from Halle via Nordhausen to Kassel, and the Leipzig Hof Railway from Leipzig via Altenburg to Zwickau and Hof. Most regional and local lines have hourly service, but some run only every other hour. There are a few small airports in Thuringia but the only one with public aviation is Erfurt Weimar Airport. It is used for charter flights to the Mediterranean and other holiday destinations. The most important airports for scheduled flights are Frankfurt Airport, Berlin Brandenburg Airport and Munich Airport, all located in adjacent states. Leipzig Altenburg Airport was served by Ryanair from 2003 to 2011. Thuringia is Germany's only land without a connection to waterways because its rivers are too small to be navigable. <inaudible> Energy and water supply The traditional energy supply of Thuringia is lignite, mined in the bordering Leipzig region. Since 2000, the importance of environmentally unfriendly lignite combustion has declined in favor of renewable energies, which reached an amount of 40% in 2013, and more clean gas combustion, often carried out as cogeneration in the municipal power stations. The most important forms of renewable energies are wind power and biomass, followed by solar energy and hydroelectricity. Furthermore, Thuringia hosts two big pumped storage stations, the Goldisthal Pumped Storage Station and the Hohenwarte Dam. The water supply is granted by the big dams, like the Liebes Lich Dam, within the Thuringian Forest and the Thuringian Highland, making a drinking water exporter of Thuringia. <laughs> Health Health care provision in Thuringia improved after 1990, as did the level of general health. Life expectancy rose, nevertheless it is still a bit lower than the German average. This is caused by a relatively unhealthy lifestyle of the Thuringians, especially in high consumption of meat, fat and alcohol, which led to significant higher rates of obesity compared to the German average. Health care in Thuringia is currently undergoing a concentration process. Many smaller hospitals in the rural towns are closing, whereas the bigger ones in centers like Jena and Erfurt get enlarged. Overall, there is an oversupply of hospital beds, caused by rationalization processes in the German healthcare system, so that many smaller hospitals generate losses. On the other hand, there is a lack of family doctors, especially in rural regions with increased need of healthcare provision because of overaging. Education 
In Germany, the educational system is part of the sovereignty of the lands, therefore each land has its own school and college system. School system The Thuringian school system was developed after the reunification in 1990, combining some elements of the former GDR school system with the Bavarian school system. Most German school rankings attest that Thuringia has one of the most successful education systems in Germany, resulting in high-quality outcomes. Early years education is quite common in Thuringia. Since the 1950s, nearly all children have been using the service, whereas early years education is less developed in Western Germany. Its inventor Friedrich Froebel lived in Thuringia and founded the world's first kindergartens there in the 19th century. The Thuringian primary school takes four years and most primary schools are all-day schools offering optional extracurricular activities in the afternoon. At the age of 10, pupils are separated according to aptitude and proceed to either the gymnasium or the Regelschule. The former leads to the Abitur exam after a further eight years and prepares for higher education, while the latter has a more vocational focus and finishes with exams after five or six years, comparable to the Hauptschule and Realschule found elsewhere in Germany. Universities The German higher education system comprises two forms of academic institutions, universities and polytechnics The University of Jena is the biggest amongst Thuringia's four universities and offers nearly every discipline. It was founded in 1558, and today has 21,000 students. The second largest is the Technische Universität Ilmenau with 7,000 students, founded in 1894, which offers many technical disciplines such as engineering and mathematics. The University of Erfurt, founded in 1392, has 5,000 students today and an emphasis on humanities and teacher training. The Bauhaus University Weimar with 4,000 students is Thuringia's smallest university, specializing in creative subjects such as architecture and arts. It was founded in 1860 and came to prominence as Germany's leading art school during the interwar period, the Bauhaus. The polytechnics of Thuringia are based in Erfurt 4,500 students, Jena 5,000 students, Nordhausen 2,500 students and Schmalkalden 3,000 students. In addition, there is a civil service college in Gotha with 500 students, the College of Music, Franz Liszt. In Weimar 800 students as well as two private colleges, the Adam Reis Fischhochschule in Erfurt 500 students and the SRH College for Nursing and Allied Medical Subjects SRH Fischhochschule für Gesundheit Jera in Jera 500 students. Finally, there are colleges for those studying for a technical qualification while working in a related field Berufsakademie at Eisenach 600 students and Jera 700 students. Research Thuringia's leading research center is Jena, followed by Ilmenau. Both focus on technology, in particular life sciences and optics at Jena and information technology at Ilmenau. Erfurt is a center of Germany's horticultural research, whereas Weimar and Gotha with their various archives and libraries are centers of historic and cultural research. Most of the research in Thuringia is publicly funded basic research due to the lack of large companies able to invest significant amounts in applied research, with the notable exception of the optics sector at Jena. Personalities Georg Bohm (1661–1733), German composer and organist of the Baroque period, born in Hohenkirchen. Johann Sebastian Bach (1685–1750), German composer and musician of the Baroque period, born in Eisenach. Franz Liszt (1811–1886), Hungarian composer, virtuoso pianist, conductor, teacher, and Franciscan tertiary, lived in Weimar. Richard Wagner (1813–1883), German composer, theater director, polemicist, and conductor, sojourns in Weimar and Eisenach. Richard Strauss (1864–1949), German composer of the late Romantic and early modern eras, director of the Weimar Court Orchestra, Hofkapellmeister. 
Martin Luther (1483–1546), German friar, observant Augustinian, Catholic priest, professor of theology, and seminal figure of the 16th century movement in Christianity, known later as the Protestant Reformation. Schooldays in Eisenach, translation of the New Testament from Greek into German at Wartburg Castle. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe (1749–1832), German writer and statesman, went to live in Weimar. Friedrich von Schiller (1759–1805), German poet, philosopher, historian, and playwright, professor of history at the University of Jena before relocating to Weimar. Meister Eckhart O.P. C. 1260 C. 1328, German theologian, philosopher, and mystic, born near Gotha. Lucas Cranach the Elder (1472–1553), German Renaissance painter and printmaker in woodcut and engraving, lived his last years in Weimar. Johann Gottfried von Herder (1744–1803), German philosopher, theologian, poet, and literary critic, introduces the Zeitgeist in Kritisch Walder (1769), served as general superintendent in Weimar. Christoph Wilhelm Huffeland (1762–1836), German physician, most eminent practical physician of his time in Germany, born in Langensalza. Napoleon Bonaparte (1769–1821), French military and political leader, twin battle of Jena Arstedt, October 14, 1806, met Johann Wolfgang von Goethe at the Governor's Palace in Erfurt in the presence of Talleyrand, October 2, 1808. Vous êtes un Quel age avez vous, soit ans. Vous êtes bien conservé. Vous avez écrit des tragédies? Voilà un um. Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel, 1770-1831, German philosopher, author of the Phenomenology of Spirit, extraordinary professor at University of Jena Karl Zeiss, 1816-1888, German maker of optical instruments commonly known for the company he founded, Karl Zeiss Jena, born in Weimar Karl Marx, 1818-1883, German philosopher, economist, social scientist, sociologist, historian, journalist, and revolutionary Socialist, Ph.D. awarded by University of Jena Johannes Brahms (1833–1897), German composer and pianist, frequent sojourns at Meiningen Ernst Haeckel (1834–1919), German biologist, naturalist, philosopher, physician, professor, and artist, discovered, described, and named thousands of new species, mapped a genealogical tree relating all life forms, coined many terms in biology, including anthropogeny, ecology, phylum, phylogeny and stem cell, professor at University of Jena Ernst Abbey 1840-1905, German physicist, optical scientist, entrepreneur, and social reformer, laid the foundations of modern optics, co-owner of Karl Zeiss Jena, born in Eisenach Friedrich Wilhelm Nietzsche 1844-1900, German philologist, philosopher, cultural critic, poet and composer, lived his last years in Weimar Gottlob Frege 1848-1925, German mathematician, logician, and philosopher, professor at University of Jena Otto Schott 1851-1935, German chemist, glass technologist, and the inventor of borosilicate glass, founder of Jenner Glasswerk Schott and Genossen Rudolf Steiner 1861-1925, Austrian philosopher, social reformer, architect, and esotericist, worked to establish various practical endeavors, including Waldorf education, biodynamic agriculture, and anthroposophical medicine, invited to work as an editor at the Goethe Mottenotteren in Weimar Henry van de Velde 1863-1957, Belgian painter, architect and interior designer, established the Weimar Saxon Grand Ducal Art School, the predecessor of the Bauhaus Max Weber 1864-1920, German sociologist, philosopher, and political economist, often cited as among the three founding creators of sociology, born in Erfurt Richard Strauss 1864-1949, leading German composer of the late Romantic and early modern eras, director of the Weimar Court Orchestra, Hofkapellmeister 1889 to 94, Vasily Kandinsky 1866 to 1944, 
Moore, influential Russian painter and art theorist, credited with painting the first purely abstract works, Bauhaus master, Weimar Lionel Feininger (1871–1956), German-American painter and leading exponent of Expressionism, also worked as a caricaturist and comic strip artist, Bauhaus master, Weimar Leon Blum (1872–1950), French politician, three times Prime Minister of France, imprisoned in Buchenwald Paul Klee (1879–1940), Swiss-German painter. His highly individual style was influenced by movements in art that included Expressionism, Cubism, and Surrealism. Bauhaus master, Weimar Walter Gropius (1883–1969), German architect, widely regarded as one of the pioneering masters of modern architecture, founder of the Bauhaus. Weimar Ludwig Mies van der Rohe (1886–1969), German-American architect, widely regarded as one of the pioneering masters of modern architecture, joined the Bauhaus. Weimar Jean Arp (1886–1966), German-French or Alsatian sculptor, painter, poet, and abstract artist, studied at the Weimar Saxon Grand Ducal Art School, the predecessor of the Bauhaus Otto Dix (1891–1969), German painter and printmaker, noted for his ruthless and harshly realistic depictions of Weimar society and the brutality of war. Born in Untermhaus (today Jera), Werner Braun (1909–1951), German Nazi SS officer, executed for war crimes. Uziel Gal (1923–2002), Israeli gun designer, best remembered as the designer and D namesake of the Uzi submachine gun. Born in Weimar. Jorge Semprun 1923 Spanish writer and politician, deported to Buchenwald, realization of Mir Blaffer, Tendre Sur for the Kunstfest Art Festival, Weimar, summer 1995 Herbert Cromer born 1928 in Weimar, German-American physicist, co-laureate of the Nobel Prize in Physics 2000 Michael Roth born 1936, German engineer. <laughs>